Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today, a little bit uh, sooner than expected, I'm doing an update on my 8 by Easter project pan. Now, I've made some significant progress on some products, and one, I actually need to, like, replace. So before we jump into that, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these seasonal project pans, and if you haven't and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. All right, so I'll save my my extreme mess up <laughs> and why I have to replace a product in this project for the end of the video. But first, let's start with a product that I've actually pretty much finished up. The Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. So this is what it looks like now. There's a little bit on the lid and there's like a little bit on the edges over here. Definitely not enough for a full use, but I will be scraping those little edges out, but this is done. I loved this primer. So glad that I was able to find the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer as a dupe. $8. Love it to death. This did feel just a little bit more moisturizing and comfortable on my skin, but the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer literally performs better under makeup than this one did. So there's really no reason for me to ever repurchase this. I love the e.l.f. one. I loved this one, and I'm glad that I was able to experience this and actually get full use out of this very expensive primer. The next product I can't really like mark my progress on. I should have made this like stand upright and mark the bottle. But my goal with this wasn't really to mark progress, it was just to get more use out of it. And that's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Porcelain. I've been using this almost a week and a half like in a row solid now. And my opinion is really solidifying about this foundation. I really love the way that it applies. It looks really nice on my skin, but by the end of the day, I do see some breakdown like around here and on my nose. So I do like overall the way that it looks and performs, but in like those problem areas, I'm going to see if maybe I can troubleshoot those, maybe use a different primer underneath, or maybe add some more concealer around there, maybe bake it. But overall, I am really happy with the dedication I've been able to give this foundation because before this project, this foundation was just sitting in my drawer and I kept thinking, oh, what did I think about that foundation? Like, I need to solidify my feelings on it. And so that's what I've gotten so far. Next, I have the loose powder that I'm using up, which I'm actually almost totally done with. So this is the Milani Make It Last powder. And this is what I have left. There's just a little bit left down there. I've been using this every day to set my oily areas, to set my under eyes, and I've actually really been enjoying this powder. The only thing I don't like is this packaging. This packaging is garbage. Like, it, I, I lose a little bit of powder every time I close it, so I've actually gotten into the habit of just keeping a clean brush and, like, wiping up whatever powder falls out on my desk like and using that too because I'm losing a lot of powder every time I open and close this thing. That's a tad annoying but the product itself is actually really good and I've really been enjoying it so I'm pretty sure that by my next update this will be my next empty. The next two products are both in the Z palette so I have my Rimmel translucent powder right over here and then I have my two shades from my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette the two light shades right over here. So I've made some significant progress on expanding the pan in the Rimmel powder. I've been using the Kat Von D shades every day and I feel like I've expanded the pan on the top shade but on the bottom. I've been using it a little bit but I really do want to focus on that top shade because I want to finish up that top shade completely. So I've made a good amount of progress with these. I really think I I I'm trying to use up this top Kat Von D shade. shade, shade. Jesus. I'm trying to use up this top Kat Von D powder by the next check-in and I think I can do it. It's just like these powders, like they're so hard pressed. There's a lot of powder in these. So I really want to see how much I can move on that powder. This powder I've also been using every day from Rimmel and I've expanded the pan a lot, but again, there's also a lot of powder in this one as well. So we'll see if this I can make. I really want to see if I can get it to a ring around the entire pan, at which point I will repress it just to make it a little bit easier to use. Uh, so I'm going to see how much I can move on that ring and then I want to, I really do want to finish this one up by the next time. The next product that I'm talking about is a concealer from Tarte, and I've been using this as an eye primer every day, and I've actually really been liking it as an eye primer. I haven't noticed any significant difference 
and how much product is left in this tube. That being said, this was a practically new tube when I started using it because I I'd never really used it because I hate how it looked under my eyes. But as an eye like eyelid primer, I really like it. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to see progress on this for at least a little bit longer, but I have been using this every day to prime my eyes. And actually, I've also been using it to do cut creases. I've been practicing cut creases. I feel like at this point, I can make them look really nice on my right side because I am right-handed. But when it goes to my left side, like look today, I did a cut crease and like this side looks really nice. And this one, like it, it needs some work right? So I've been practicing and whenever I do cut the crease, I also use this concealer. The next product is the highlighter I've been using and this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Royal Glow and I've been focusing my brush right down here and like I feel like I'm gonna see pan any day now. Like there's a huge dip in here. I like I want to see pan in this. So this is where we are currently. As you can see, there is like a huge dip right here because I've been focusing right here. I didn't really want to run through the crown right there so if, like too fast because I love the crown, but I've, I really want to see pan down here soon. So I'm hoping that by this next update, there will be visible pan down here. I've been using this every day to highlight my cheekbones, to highlight my cupid's bow, to highlight the tip of my nose. And I've also liked some little highlight on the sides of my nose. Not the inner corner of my eye, but like the sides of my nose. All right, so let's get to how I messed my last product up. If you watched my intro, you'll know that I did include a uh, like a little mini of an Urban Decay <laughs> concealer, the Naked Skin Concealer. And it got to the point where by using the applicator, I wasn't getting a lot of product out anymore. And I was like, great, I'm getting like to the bottom of this. So I tried to remove the stopper and it turns out, I apparently, in like these mini sample -y kinds of products, that's attached to the bottle. You can't actually pull the stopper out. Didn't stop me from trying though. I spent 30 minutes trying to get the stopper out and I accidentally like stabbed myself with my uh, depotting tool. So I had like a little cut on my finger. Don't do what I did. I tried using my depotting tool. I tried using scissors. I stuck scissors all the way in to see if I could pull it out. It didn't work, because I'm an idiot. So after all that, I was like, okay, so I can't get the stopper out. What if I use my little spatula and see how much I can just shove in and scoop out, right? So I, I shove my spatula in and it gets stuck. You see that little pink dot in there? That's my spatula. So I shoved it in, I tried to scoop out the product and the head of the spatula got stuck in here and I, I'm now out a concealer and a spatula. So I'm calling it quits on this concealer. I tried everything I could to just actually get the rest out. Cause you, as you can see, there's a still a lot of concealer in there. You just can't get it out of the smaller size which really frustrated me. I'm also out my favorite like depotting spatula for liquid products. So it's been a rough week. <laughs> so uh, in light of this, I am gonna just get rid of, I can't even close it anymore because the damn spatula is in there. So I'm gonna get rid of that Naked Skin one and I'm gonna replace that concealer. And I'm gonna replace that concealer with the one I've been reaching for and instead the Kylie concealer in the shade Ivory. I've already panned one of these, I love it, and I know I can take out the stopper and actually scoop this thing out. So that's gonna be replacing that Urban Decay primer, primer, that, oh, I'm having a rough time, guys. That Urban Decay concealer for the rest of this project because I was a uh, struggle bussing real hard. I also need to go onto Amazon and order a new spatula. Maybe I could take this to Harry Potter world with me and make this like my sad wand. <laughs> All right guys, so that's my update. I really just wanted to do the update about the concealer because I, I needed to just get rid of it and bring a new concealer in. Um, but I'm, I'm actually really happy other than that where I am in this project. I think it's going really well. I'm happy with the progress I've made so far and I'm hoping to do the next update in a couple more weeks, not as soon as this update was <laughs> because I royally messed up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.
Bye.